What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another coaching video. I wanted to make a slightly different style of video than the ones that have been on my channel so far. If you've watched those videos, you know I like to go into the entire replay and break down situations into small chunks and give advice on how to fix those. If you haven't watched those videos, I think they're great and you should check them out. But more often than not, I'm finding myself giving the same advice over and over and over again to all sorts of different players. Most of the people who sign up for coaching are anywhere from Diamond 2 to Champ 3, and they're all making the same mistake. So today, I wanna look at how to play faster in Rocket League. We're gonna see a couple clips from a Champ 1 game where I think this is done incorrectly, then we're gonna talk about it, and you'll see some clips from my gameplay where I do things correctly. I think this is gonna be something that's super easy to train and something you can implement into your games right away. I am a completely free coach, so if you support what I'm doing and you want to see more videos, please like and subscribe. It's the best way to support my coaching efforts. And if you want to sign up yourself, you can click the link in the description to join my Discord and read the rules to see how it works. With that being said, I really hope you're able to learn something. At least from game one, it seemed like the biggest thing was that you're not picking up your small pads, you're not looking back when you're going on defense, and the play overall is a little bit slow where you just need to get more front flips in. You need to get to supersonic speed and practice flipping around, wave dashing, little things to increase the speed. So I want to see if that happens in this replay also. Like right here, there is no reason after this boost grab that you should not be going supersonic speed back to your net. Because like when you do this with speed, right, you grab this, and then you just, you start flipping this way, getting ready to go far post, right? Where if they get it past your teammate, you can come out and make a save. Or if not, right, you're still coming this way really quick and then you can just turn up the field and be ready for a pass. Same thing, ball, ball kicks out wherever you're gonna, it's rolling down the middle so you kind of have freedom here to go wherever feels good, but do it fast. You're, you're not getting your trails, you're not getting up to supersonic speed, and I'm just not seeing a lot of front flips in your gameplay to try and maximize speed. And we'll see how you get back. Alright. What am I gonna say? <laughs> Big small pads. Uh-huh, and? Uh, take a look to the yes. small pads. In a, look, at, to look at the field. The trail. Don't, don't stare at the ball. Look at the field yeah. to know, you'll see this guy actually, I didn't even see this guy because you were staring this way, right? You'll yeah. see this guy and you'll see where the small pads are. Just that one quick look where you're going and then back at the ball, it helps your positioning on defense so much. And then oh, please grab more than two small pads <laughs> over the course of this. Cause then yeah, I- I felt like two there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I say things like, you know, try to get more front flips and move at supersonic speed around the field, which is not so easy to do, but it becomes a lot easier if you're constantly picking up extra boost. There's little moments where you could be getting to these spots quicker, where you're just, you're not getting to supersonic speed. Like right here, you should be flipping getting to the center of the field a lot quicker than what you're doing. You have the boost, one flip with a little bit of boost, it gets you there. But even here too, there's just like, there's a lack of front flips in your gameplay where, you know, like, here, fine, don't worry about it. But once it starts getting to this point, you need to start thinking like, how do I get to the next spot faster and faster and faster? It's just a little slow here where it's that same idea of, oh, it's a great opportunity for a pass, but you see the pass not coming. You're just driving around slowly, right? You, you get to the next spot quicker than that. Pass doesn't come. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I ignore the ball real quick. I flip this way, I grab these boosts, and I'm already now looking back at the ball, making the decision to either turn this way to go on defense or to turn this way to go on offense. But here too, here too, you're done with the ball. It's floating over your head. Like, this is your shot on net right here. In this moment, you should know. If I shoot it in net, fantastic, great. If I take a shot and miss, Almost always, if you take a shot and miss, you should be leaving it for your teammate. So it's like, you should immediately be thinking, get back and get back fast. Because what happens is, you clear the way for your teammate, and then when you get back fast, you're, you're able to like pick up this boost, and you are able to make the decision of, then do I want to turn back this way and get back on offense, or back on defense. But it's, it's all coming back to just lack of speed on the play, where you take your time getting to one spot, you slowly turn around. There you use all of your boost to go for the mid. Like, 
you, you need a lot more front flips in your gameplay, a lot more. Here's what I'm gonna show you. Even if you're going back this way with a flip, you know, you see how much speed you can get just from flipping around the field? You flip this way, you can drift and turn around fast, right? Like, it feels very committal, but if you practice, you know, using your flips to get up to full speed, you can turn and just keep flipping. You know, like, try to get around the field like this, and just try to drive over all the small pads, turn off unlimited boost, and just try to, like, get around the field flipping like this, using diagonal front-facing flips, come out of the goal. You know, you want to be able to just move around the field really, really quickly. And I think having these flips as just like part of your game sense will help so much. I'm gonna pick a random replay of mine just to focus on like none of the actual gameplay, just to focus on the speed. I get off looking for a bump, but I pick up this boost, flip to the other boost. You see that? Yeah. And it's like, there's so much more in my gameplay where um, all the time, as soon as I uh, see an opportunity where I need to go somewhere, it's always a little bit of boost and a front flip. And you see how much faster the movement is? Even if I'm missing the ball, that doesn't matter. But it's always front flip for speed, right? Come back yeah. down, wave dash, flip. <laughs> that is so much quicker uh, exactly. than my replay. Exactly. I, I mean, obviously, I've been playing for so, so long, and, you know, I, I play this game very, very fast. But whenever I see a spot I want to get to, it's a wave dash or a front flip, trying to get that supersonic speed everywhere. Every, every little bit I go to right here, getting back on defense, it's supersonic speed. And look at how much boost I used to get back. You know, I used all my boost to turn around. Yeah. And then almost none of it to actually get back on defense because I'm already supersonic speed. Front flip again, trying to pick up the small pads as I go. And see, like, even here, this is like one of those situations we were talking about. We don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know if Blue's going to get the ball or if my teammate's going to get it. But I'm moving so fast that I can then turn around and be ready. And then see, again, right here, probably front flip. Yep. up early to challenge right where yeah. it's like it's all these things it's all emphasis around speed of play where i don't think there's anything like super crazy here that i'm doing that you can't do it's just i'm executing it like really really fast you know on to the next thing on to the next thing on to the next thing you know the, the idea is the the front yeah. flips the wave dashes the decision okay right here this is a beautiful example i decide uh i don't want this anymore so I'm supersonic, getting back to my net. It's like all the things I talked about in one, which is realizing I'm done, getting far away going far post, using boost and a flip to get to max speed, getting inside my net early so that's an easy clear, and then I'm supersonic again, right? So that's like the main area where your play could really improve is that you need confidence to just go for it, just jump, uh, just use those flips, get to that max speed, turn off unlimited boost, and just, um, you know, like, waste it all at the beginning. And then once you're at zero, start in one of the nets and just try to pick up pads and just see how quickly you can get to supersonic. And without picking up the big boosts, try to pick up these little ones as fast as possible to already get back up to 100. Okay, so you get the idea by now. You're probably not playing as fast as you think you are in your games, and there's a very easy way to practice and improve that. I'm not gonna say that now that you know how to do this that you're automatically gonna be perfect. Of course, everything takes practice, but if you're finding yourself in that diamond to champ rank, practice this. You really need to move quickly around the field and it'll benefit all the rest of your gameplay. If you liked that video and you liked that coaching, make sure to leave a like on the video to let me know. If you want coaching for yourself, join the Discord, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching.